Hey friends, welcome back to FTD News where we keep you in the know of what's going on around the world, but in a fun way. All right, I'm Sarah Carvalho and today we're gonna start off with a pretty uplifting story about a makeup artist who has actually gone viral on TikTok for posting a video doing a complete glam look without any limbs, yes, that's exactly what I said. So Gabe Adams Wheatley, living in the United States, but actually born in Brazil, he was adopted by an American family. Now he does, as I said, let's explain why the no limbs, right? So he has Hanhart syndrome, uh, which has a few different symptoms to it, such as uh, short, incompletely developed tongue, absent or partially missing fingers and toes, malformed arms and or legs, and an extremely small jaw. Now, you're, you're thinking about these symptoms and you're like, oh my goodness, like, how could someone survive? How could someone live with, with um, you know, a rare genetic condition like this? And, and I think you, it, it shows you how strong of a person Gabe Adams is and how much he's had to work on himself and kind of come to this self-acceptance and also really advocating for himself and saying like, nah, I'm gonna give myself the best chance of life that I have and I'm gonna do what I want and love life and, and do what makes me happy. So I say all that to say that, you know, he has not let any of this stop him from finding love. He is in fact married and from following his dreams. So he is, um, you know, a makeup artist and he's he his most recent video actually got 4 million views. In his video, as I said before, he's applying a full glam look including bronzer, contour, um, ma mascara, fake eyelashes, you know, he's going the whole nine yards here and it's pretty impressive. If I think about myself with, I've got arms and legs and I fumble all the time. I still manage to drop my coffee or my water or trip on things. So I think it's really an inspiring story to see how he, how he kind of gets around not being able to use hands and feet. So what he actually does is he, he gets himself really close to his materials and he finds ways to kind of stick them to the table, uh, like his beauty blender, he'll put it on the table and kind of like rub his face up against it to apply his makeup. You know, he'll also balance uh, the brush between his neck and his shoulders to kind of wave and say hello. So he's very creative, he's very innovative, and he has found a way to get past all of these obstacles. So this story has actually brought him into kind of, I guess, the limelight, right? He now has two million followers on TikTok, more than 108 thousand Instagram fans and uh, I'm gonna repeat it again he's got four million views on this video he is enjoying his new popularity on social media and he actually uses this platform as like an anti-bullying uh, platform to sh share a message because you can imagine as a child um, you know he actually says here I would come home in tears because people would make fun of me for the fact that I have no arms or legs. One day my mom was like, listen, I need you to look in the mirror and, and find 10 things you like about yourself. Then I want you to go to school and find 10 people and find something you like about each of them. And you know, he says that as he started doing that, he started to generate positivity in his life, which made him strive to do better, to be happy, not only for himself, to give the best for himself, but to give the best to everyone else. So this is an amazing story. In the world right now, things aren't so great. To hear something like this, it, it makes you, it gives you hope, gives you hope for the future and where the world is going. So this is amazing. If you haven't checked him out, go follow, show your support. Uh, he certainly deserves it. All right, guys, our next story that we're moving on to is, is not quite as uplifting. In fact, it's a little bit, it's a little sad because, you know, our first story shows us how wonderful the world can be and we can band together and be positive and show support. Um, this story is a little bit of the opposite. It's a little bit, it, it kind of uh, makes me question my faith in humanity here. Let's just get down to it. A statue of George Floyd was um, erected in Union Square and it has been vandalized less than 48 
hours after it was unveiled to the public in a very emotional ceremony. You know, his brother, George Floyd's brother, came to the event. Uh, you can only imagine what that was like. Um, you know, and then to find out less than 48 hours later that this the statue has been vandalized, it's, it's very disheartening. So George Floyd's statue is one of three statues. There's actually one as well for Breonna Taylor and John Lewis. Now it's interesting that uh, George Floyd's statue was the only one vandalized. We're gonna take a look at what happened. So apparently on Saturday or Sunday, around 10 a.m. in the morning, a male was viewed approaching the statues and then he kind of was hiding behind the John Lewis statue as he mixed something together. And then it was said, this was all caught on camera by the way, this was caught on security camera. And then he gets on a skateboard and he proceeds to zoom past George Floyd's statue and as he zooms past, he tosses this bucket and leaves this vandalism behind and runs off to escape getting in trouble. That's not the saddest part though about this story. And I think what is really shameful about this is that on the security camera, multiple eyewitnesses were observed watching this happen and they did nothing. I mean, I'm kind of speechless here. They did nothing. I really thought that in the 21st century, we, we were in a world, especially after, you know, the continuation of this Black Lives Matter movement, the social justice movement, I really thought we were in a place where people would speak up, where they wouldn't just stay silent, where we would be in a place where people would not be afraid to say, this is wrong, you can't do this. Uh, but apparently not, which is unfortunate. So I guess it says a lot about the world and where we are and, 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 and the great strides we still need to make. If you look back in history, all of these things that have happened is because people have stood by and said nothing. So I think this is this story, while it is very sad, it's a great lesson to all of humanity that uh, we can no longer just sit by and watch these things happen. So guys, I wanna hear from you. If you were one of the bystanders at this event, um, do you think you would have said something or do you think you would have been too afraid? Am I being too harsh on these eyewitnesses or, or do you agree with me? Should they have said something? Leave your comments down below. I really want to hear from you. Join in on the conversation. All right, friends, that brings us to the end of today's news. I hope you enjoyed getting in on the facts. If you didn't know before today, now you know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, show the love and, uh, Speaking of showing the love, why not give me a follow on social media because uh, I do have a life outside of making these videos and I'm sure it would be cool for you to check out. All right, friends, we'll catch you right here next time on FTD News. Bye.